Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cell to Singularity video. So, today we are going to be trying out the new James Webb Telescope simulation or like feature. Um, this was um, featured in the update um, a few days ago now I think the update came out. So yeah, there's um, a limited time event as we can see. So three days, six hours. So hopefully we can all get to the end of it. Um, in one or two episodes um, of this so yeah it's a separate simulation it's nothing to do with the beyond that we're doing or that we did here obviously this is still um, processing the deep space stuff so yeah we're still um, there. I'm hoping there'll be an update for this um, in the future at some point I mean that would be cool but yeah we're checking out this unfold the universe explore James Webb telescopes let's go ahead and do that so this is the new that this is what's featured in the new update okay so, what is it about the sky that excites so much curiosity in humans? Uh, why do they hope to see... What do they hope to see up there? Okay. Explore James Webb Telescope. Okay. Interesting. Right, what have we got? Right. Ooh, the music's pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay, so obviously I need to just start off. We're starting a whole brand new one here. Okay, look to the stars. We have always looked to the stars and wonder. Curiosity about the cosmos inspires astounding feats of human um, ingenuity and collaboration. As we strive to see farther and better than ever before. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we have ground telescope. The earliest stargazers made their observations with nothing but the naked eye. Magnifying telescopes opened up a whole new vistas from simple handheld spy glasses to mountaintop observatories that can detect wavelengths invisible to humans. Okay, cool. So next up we've got space telescope. So ground-based observations um, have to contend with air and light pollution satellites and orbital junk. And the atmosphere itself muddy in the view. Rising above it all, telescopes in space get a much clearer picture. Oh yes, right, there we are. Okay. Oh, next up we got Hubble, okay. So let's just keep, uh, this could take a while. <laughs> I mean, all we can probably do is upgrade, can we? Okay, ah, okay, so we can buy the ground telescope. That doesn't really give us much, but I mean, it'll probably help. So, I think this is probably going to be... Yeah, let's use the boost. I think that probably would be useful. Um, okay, so let's um, just read um, what we got here anyway. So, the Hubble Space Telescope. So, at its launch in 1990, the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, named for astronomer Edwin Hubble, was the most powerful telescope ever built. Still in use today, it gave us some of our most iconic images from faraway galaxies and spectacular nebula. Okay, nice. Cool. And there's also one here called Origins. In 1946, astronomer Lyman Spicer made the first proposals for a telescope in space. He later collaborated with the with astronomer Nancy Grace Roman to develop the Hubble Space Telescope. Ah, nice. Okay, that's cool. I guess we'll get the Origins first, as that's um, the cheaper one. Let's, let's grab that. Grab the gold thing. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Might as well um, boost up. So then we've also got the Hubble Space Telescope done. Okay, cool. So next up, we got Repair Mission. A flaw in Hubble's main mirror meant it couldn't resolve images properly at launch. After three years of fuzzy photos, NASA sent a crew to perform delicate orbital repairs in 1993. Four other manned missions have since visited the surface telescope. Nice. Yeah, it's got to be maintained after all. Okay, cool. So how big is this simulation? Actually, let's just have a look. Whoa. Oh, it looks like we may have to, like, hopefully there's, like, a boost thing or something. I mean, uh, let's just buy that for now. Oh, so that's one of our missions, correct? Down telescope. Okay. What have we got here? Okay, so repair mission. There's the main goal. Okay, so that's the goals of the entire campaign, I think. Time flux. Ready one hour. What is this? Oh, okay. I see. So it puts one hour of progress onto the game. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we can use that if we need to uh, boost a bit. Okay, so repair mission. Done. Uh, next up, we got landmark discoveries. Um, Hubble's observations have yielded many breakthroughs in astrophysics. They revealed new celestial objects located black holes at the centres of galaxies and helped determine the age of the universe. Nice. Okay, cool. Next up, we got Hubble's successor. As Hubble grew older, astronomers recognised the need for a newer, more high-tech successor. In 1996, the Next Generation Space Telescope project was convinced it would be uh, would need a bigger, more powerful, and more advanced than its predecessor. Okay, and then that leads us to James Webb. Well, hey. Okay, the next generation space telescope gave birth to the James Webb Telescope, one of the most ambitious feats of astronomical engineering ever achieved. Improving on the foundations laid by Hubble, it introduced many significant innovations. Okay, and then here's the man himself. James E. Webb was NASA's administrator from 1961 to 1968 and oversaw the Mercury, Gemini and Apollo programs. He used his many political connections to successfully lobby for funding, resources and support for the space program. Okay, nice. Okay, cool. 
So we've also got distance from Earth. What's this? Unlike Hubble, Webb won't orbit Earth. Instead, it will orbit the Sun 1.5 million kilometers from home. Uh, this meant the launch had to go exactly as planned since repairs will be impossible once the telescope is in space. Aha, uh -huh, yes. That's cool. Right. Oh, what's this? Uh, another gold thing? Cool. Let's do another one of these things. This is quite cool. I like that. Okay. Nice. Okay, so if we go back down here. So, collect ground telescopes. Let's just go... There you go. So that gives us that. Collect Hubble Space Telescopes next. And we can also do this distance from Earth thing. So, voila. Okay, so then let's just upgrade that. I mean, how, how far can we go? Can we do it all the way? Almost there. Okay, so Hubble Space Telescope. Cool. That's good. So, so... Okay, okay, so that's that then. Okay, cool. And then, uh... Okay, so there are all the other simulations. Okay. Right. I do like I do quite like this music, I have to say. It's really cool. Uh, yeah, Hubble. So I guess we're just gonna have to do a few uh, spam the keyboard a bit just to get it all the way up. We can also buy the James. Well, actually, what we'll do is we'll just use this. I mean, we've got plenty of cubes, so why not? I mean, we might as well use them for something. So, so we just accelerate in time a lot. So now we can go Hubble all the way up to forty. There we go. Done. Collect development. Not sure what that is. Uh, let's just keep upgrading then. Okay, so next up we've got Naming. Originally known as the Next Generation Space Telescope, the project was renamed to honour James E. Webb in 2002. Webb's leadership helped establish scientific research and innovation as core goals of NASA. Cool. Nice. And then we've also got size comparison down here. The Webb Telescope boasts a primary mirror over six times the size of Hubble's, yet thanks to advances in material science over the intervening decades, it comes in at an only half the mass. Sweet. There it is. Next up, we've got mission objectives. The Webb Telescope has a number of ambitious goals on its to-do list. It will peer into black holes, search for new exoplanets, and look back to the beginnings of the universe. Sweet. Nice. Cool. Okay. Oh, so there's development. Okay. It took 25 years to complete the James Webb Telescope from its conception in 1996 to launch in 2021. Many new technologies needed to be invented along the way. An incredibly ambitious undertaking. It took vast amounts of money, labor, and time to get the job done. Cool. So there's that done. So what's this? Ooh! There it is! Phase one. Cool. One spent speed boost. Okay, so... Ah, okay. Oh, that's cool! So there it is there, so we're building it. Nice! So that's, uh... Ah, ah, okay. Cool. Next up, we need to collect James Webb himself, so let's, uh... See how far we can go on there. Okay, we're almost halfway there. Okay, so we've also got black holes coming up. Black holes are one of the most great ignimbus of the cosmos. The Webb Telescope will turn its gaze on the centre of the Milky Way, the enormous black hole Sagittarius A lies. Astronomers hope that Webb's advanced imaging abilities can begin to reveal its secrets. Oh, that'd be awesome. And what's this? Lavender Scare. Concerns are raised about implementing James Webb in the Lavender Scare, a discriminatory purging of LGBT federal employees in the 1950s, when an investigation turned up, no evidence of its direct involvement. NASA chose to remove his name from the prod. Oh, they chose not to remove his name. Okay. There's a bit of history for you. Um, let's do it again. I like this thing. This thing's cool. Right. There you go. Okay, so we could also unlock those. Do we go for those first? Or. I think we just get the main sort of campaign done first. I guess just. Uh, uh, can we do it? Oh. Ah, almost. Okay, so let's just. Uh, Bam, click that a bit. So, what's, so we did mission love. Okay, Webb's mission is planned for at least five. Uh, yeah, for at least five years. Though it may be able to continue making observations up to ten years. It carries enough propellant to last twenty years in orbit, raising hopes for an active retirement. Okay, nice. So we'll grab that. Cool. Okay, so I guess we'll just keep buying these as well, just to help us along the way. I mean, you can see the ground telescope is quite inferior. Uh, only 332. I mean, all the other ones give us a lot more. Cool. So, James Webb. Okay, that's all we need. Nice. Let's do it again. I like this thing. That's cool. I mean, it really does uh, really does help us. That's, that's 2 billion. So, it should easily be enough to get that done. Yep. Nice. Okay. So, we'll get black holes. Galactic birth. Webb will study events... From early in the universe's history, when the first galaxies took shape, astronomers have wary theories about how this happened, and Webb's discoveries may finally put the debate to rest. Okay. We've also, we'll grab that as well. Uh, what else have we got? 
Okay. Um, let's get this development thing out because that gives us quite a lot of... Uh, I mean, once we get that upgraded, that should give us quite a lot. So collect construction is the next one. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so I'm guessing that's this thing here. This bit there. So we need to obviously get these guys. So first up, we've got international collaboration. The Webb Telescope wasn't created by NASA alone. The European Space Agency and the Canadian Space Agency both contributed funding, equipment, and launch facilities for the mission. Then we got budget. Initially balloted at $1 million. Or $1 billion, I should say. Webb's final price tag was a whopping $9.7 billion. Uh, rigorous testing requirements and the need to keep up with advanced technology ticked the cost up over time. Yeah, I mean, technology. <laughs> right, okay. Cool. Uh, let's see, let's just, why don't we just click this a couple of times, I mean, that'll, so we'll just try and boost, like, plenty of time ahead, so, let's just keep going. Uh, yeah. So we're travelling multiple hours into the future here. So, let's, 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 let's just try and unlock everything. Galactic birth, done. Seek an exoplanets. One of Webb's aims is to discover the new planets outside our solar system called exoplanets. These alien biomes can teach us about how planets form, and we might even find worlds that resemble our own. Remember, Hubble's already done us a lot of service with that, so once this new telescope gets uh, finding a lot of things, that could be very interesting. Okay. This is cool. I like this. I mean, we have just unlimited cubes, so we might as well just take advantage of them. That's cool. So we're just traveling multiple hours up. Cool. So let's grab a uh, international collaboration budget. So that unlocks funding. Space missions have a history of going over budget. Costs are tough to predict for a unique, never seen before piece of equipment, and technological progress rarely comes cheap. Oh yeah. So that's twenty billion. So we need to. That should easily give it. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Nice. Okay. Grab that. Ah, there's construction. Okay, so that's 25 billion. So there you go. Why not? So we're just we're just basically fast tracking a lot of this. But I mean, yeah, I've got to make it good. I don't want to just be click. I don't want, I don't want you guys just to watch me click for like 10 hours trying to find everything. So grab that. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're going up in the billions, fell So 12.34 million at a time. Uh, how much are we doing here? So buy max. Because that now pays us the most development. Cool. Let's just grab all of those. Construction gives us a lot. 900,000. Okay. Okay, so what was that? So, um, yeah, James Webb Telescope is one of a kind. A host of interventions like its infrared imaging and unique folding design, making it the most powerful telescope ever built. Cool. Up here we've got averted cancellation. The US House of Representatives nearly cancelled the development of the project back in 2011, but backtracked after an international outcry. They settled for capping the budget at 8.8 .8 billion, while uh, promptly exceeded by which was promptly exceeded by nearly 2 billion. Yep. <laughs> Infrared visibility. The James Webb Telescope didn't use visible light, instead it collected light at longer wavelengths in the infrared range. This lets it see objects dating back to the birth of the universe 100 times further than those observed by Hubble. Next up, we've got micro shutters. The James Webb Telescope has a much wider view of field than any of its predecessors, instead focusing on one thing at a time. A new micro shutter technology developed just for web lets it observe hundreds of objects at once without repositioning. Very nice. Okay, cool. Things are starting to get expensive here. So, what was our mission? So, collect construction. Okay, so we need to just keep... Classic. That is very expensive. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> I wish we could just like, do multiple hours at once. That would be very, very nice. Let's just keep doing that. I quite like the little time flux icon here because that's a reference to the... That looks to me like a reference to the Back to the Future flux capacitor. I mean, if you've only seen those films, that definitely looks like it. Okay, construction. So we need ten of those. Oh, God, right, okay. Guess we'll just keep grabbing those. Okay. Another gold thing? Yep, yeah, let's do it. They're not, they're not so helpful. The gold things don't give us as much here. Okay, so collect construction. Let's just keep let's just keep doing this. I mean, this seems to be the best way to do it. So, there we are. See, so connect. We'll just get some of those upgraded as well because that will help us in the long run as well. Get construction going up. Okay. So every every time we buy a new perk, it should in theory give us more every hour. So that's cool. So if I just keep getting rid of these. Ooh, okay. So we'll read those in a bit. Let's just get this construction done first.
Oh, one more. Okay, there you go. Okay, looking good. Right, okay, so that should be... Yeah, that's enough to get us to level 10. So there's that, done. Okay, collect launches next. Okay, so moving on further up the uh, field here. So micro shutters. The Webb telescope has a much wider view, field of view than any of its predecessors. Instead focusing on one... Oh, no, we already read that, didn't we? Let's grab that. Dangerous heat. The Webb telescope needs to be kept extremely cold or its own heat would overwhelm the sensitive infrared detectors. A huge kite-shaped shield blocks out the sun's rays and keeps the telescope at a chilly 50 degrees Kelvin. So there it is. So you can sort of see the shields briefly on here. Cool. That's cool. I like that. Let's just get a full picture mode of it. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I like that little model. Yeah, I like that's cool. So I get a picture of that. Why not? Okay, get a cheeky screenshot of that. It looks, it looks cool. All right. Um, delayed launch. Webb's launch was delayed many times. Setbacks included the tear in the sun shield during a test launch, a, a significant redesign of 2005, and obviously the COVID-19 pandemic from 2020-2021, uh, and also still uh, going to this day, unfortunately. Uh, there it is. Ah, launch. Okay, there's launch. The James Webb Telescope's nail-biting launch from the Iguana Space Centre in a French Guiana was the only start of its journey. After the drama of liftoff, Webb settled for a long commute to its destination and the careful progress of unfolding in preparation for work. Okay, yes. Cool. So collect launch is our next cost. 120 billion. So we'll just keep uh, upgrading those. That'll help us over every time we boost. If we have those at a higher level, that will give us more every hour. So do that again. Okay, so now we can grab launch. Okay, so that gives us silver. So what does this do? Oh, oh. Oh, so it like builds more of it. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. So let's get a look at it now. So yeah, it looks slightly... Uh, you can see there's more going on there. So it's, uh, it's really cool. It's a really cool... Design. It is a really interesting shape, this thing, isn't it? All right. There it is. So grab dangerous heat. Sun shield. Webb's tennis court sized sun shield is a critical part of its mission. Each of the shield's five layers is made from aluminium and silicon coated um, polyarmite firm as thin as human hair. Ho ho, wowee. Okay, so collect launch. So we've got three of those. Uh, Webb's impressive primary mirror spans 6.5 meters in diameter. A ray of 18 smaller hexagons made of gold plated uh, beryllium. It resembles a shiny golden honeycomb. Oh, yes. Christmas launch. The James Webb Telescope was originally planned to launch in 2007, but successfully or successive delays postponed it until December 25th, 2021. The much-anticipated high-stakes Christmas Day launch was ultimately a success, and NASA described it as flawless. Excellent. And then ground support uh, for the James Webb mission will be provided by the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore, Maryland. The lab will distribute, uh, distribute gather data by the telescope and accept observation proposals from all over the world. Hey, that's awesome. Nice. Cool. So we've got quite a nice uh, nice tech tree going on here. So how hard is it? Oh, we're almost at the top. Okay, we could probably do this all in one episode, actually. So obviously, we've got the cheeky boosts. They do help us out. This is a limited time event as well, so we might as well just get it all done in one episode. So, kind of be like a little special. Uh, there we go. Let's just keep grabbing all those. Do it again. So we just need to collect the launch. Cool. Okay, there it is. Let's uh, grab the gold thing. Grab these first, actually, and then... Uh... Cool. Nice. Okay, so what's that? So collect launch. Collect. Oh, we need to collect the James Webb itself again as well. Okay, so we need to get up to level 100 for James Webb. Okay. Nice. We'll do that first. So let's go grab that. Cool. Yeah, 1.1 trillion. Okay, let's grab uh, that one as well. Hexagonal mirrors. Okay, so good, good. Uh, James Webb telescope. Nice. Keep grabbing those. Go again. I mean, they're only 10 cubes. I mean, that's, that's pocket change for us with all these, so... There it is. Christmas launch. I'll grab that. Journey to L2. What's this? Uh, the James Webb Telescope will orbit 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. At uh, Lagrange Point 2, um, Lagrange Points are spots where the forces of gravity from two bodies, in this case the Earth and the Sun, are perfectly balanced. Here the telescope can hold steadily relative to Earth. Pretty cool. So there it is that. Okay, almost got launch up. How are we doing on James Webb himself? Okay, we're almost there. Nice. Grab it again. This time flux is very useful. I wish they had this on the beyond. That would be very, very useful to use every so often. So there it is. Grab that. OK, 
Okay, so we should be able to get James Webb all the way up. There you go. So that's level 100 then. Credit launch. Done. So let's grab all of that. Okay, next up, collect first images. So that must be the final stage of this uh, campaign, actually. So that's pretty cool. Cool. Okay, so we just need to keep uh, keep upgrading then. So now, as you can see, we're making more and more currency here, which is good. There you go. Uh, journey to L2, done. Sun shield unfolding. It took 13 days for the web telescope to unfurl completely. A complex dance with many steps. The unfolding of the sun shield was a particularly tense moment as there are problems with this phase in testing. Fortunately, it went off without a hitch. Happy days. Nice. Okay. Let's keep going. Looking good. Okay. So we can't actually even afford anything in this, uh, this chance. Let's upgrade that a bit. I'll uh, get all the expensive ones done first. Do that again. Okay, so that should put us at four trillion, roughly. Come on, give us four. So we can get the ground support done. There you go. Hey, why can't I buy it? Hey, there, there you go. Cool. Okay, so next up we need sun shield unfolding. So let's keep going. Nice. Looking good. All right. Sun shield. Grab that. Mirrors unfolding. The the Webb telescope mirror would have been too large to fit on a current launch vehicle in one piece, so its compact design uses smaller mirrors that unfold to fit together in space. Tiny mechanical motors uh, shift minutely to perfectly focus each mirror segment. It's fantastic. Right, there we go. Grab that. Okay, so I think I'm guessing this is the last one there. That dot there. That must be first images. Okay, so secondary mirrors and primary mirrors. Okay. The primary mirrors. The gold mirrors of the elliptical telescope element collect light from far off stars and galaxies. The bigger the mirrors and the more light they reflect, the more detail the telescope can observe. And Webb's 6.5 meter array is one of the largest ever. Then we've got secondary mirrors. Um, with the sun shield in place, the next step in Webb's development was unfolding the secondary mirror. This mirror, which sits behind the primary mirror, helps focus light and deliver a clearer image. Cool. And they are very expensive. 90 and 40 trillion. <laughs> Wow, okay. I guess we're going to have to do this a couple of times because that's going to take a long time to uh, get up to speed. So, really crazy stuff there. I'll keep upgrading the launch and the construction. They'll probably help us uh, get more every uh, boost. So, there we are. But yeah, we're definitely finishing all this today. So, let's uh, keep going here. So I'm guessing we need both mirrors to get the final piece of the puzzle. So, yeah, okay. So, we need primary as well. Cool. So that's uh, obviously 90 trillion, so that's uh, a lot. But yeah, we should need to boost one or two more times now. Grab it, so. Okay, 68 trillion. And then one more, and that should give us uh, what we need to get the final uh, piece of the puzzle here. So, grab primary mirrors, done. Oh no, then we got more. No, there's more. Okay, so warm up period. After setting the position, Webb won't start taking pictures right away. It needs at least five months to cool down enough for the infrared imaging to function. In the meantime, testing and calibration will keep the telescope busy. Sweet. Okay, cool. Nice. So, first images, that's all. Ah, ah, that must be this one then. Perfect. Okay. So, we need 300 trillion. So we have to do a lot of boosts. So we are skipping. I mean, how many times do I press this button now? We must be going at least a good 24 hours plus of time here. So we are really, really pushing it hard. Getting all this. There's a the gold thing. Let's grab that. Now the gold things don't give us much at all. Only, only in the billions here. We need the trillions here, game. Okay. Let's go, go, go. Right. Actually, if I click there, look, you could read what um, first images. Look, first images. It, we don't even have that unlocked yet, but we can actually see what it says. So, Webb will send its first images back to Earth six months after launch. NASA has selected a range of subjects to showcase the telescope's capabilities, but we won't know what one of this in a Google snapshots will reveal. Hey, okay, and that's going to cost one quadrillion. So that's uh, that's a lot. So I mean, that's going to take us ages, even with um. Even with using the boosts here. Okay, let's grab that. There it is. One QA. That's going to take forever. Oh my god. Okay, wow. We say that's good. Yeah. So, how many times do I click this? I mean, 
let's just let's just see. I mean, I mean, as soon as we go past nine hundred trillion, actually, we should be able to just grab it. I think. Let's just keep going. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go all the way and get this all done. Come on. We've almost, our boost is almost in. We've only got six minutes left of that. So we are really, really uh, pushing it hard here. Okay. Almost there. Probably one more. Come on. Just one more. I think one more. Almost there. 973. Okay, so now we just need to go one more time. There you go. One quadrillion. There you go. Nice. And that's it. Cool. There it is. Phase three. Hey, there you go. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's done. Cool. The Jays Telescope unlocked in the Beyond Simulator. Oh. Oh, well, where are we gone? Hey, what is it? Fit? Okay, what's this? Uh, when united by a common goal, humanity is capable of great accomplishments. Missions like the James Webb Telescope enable the human spirit of curiosity to reach ever farther into the cosmos. Okay. Where are we? Ah, oh, there you go. Cool. Done. So that's the... There you go. There's James Webb. Cool. That was quite a fun little campaign, actually, that. I mean, I know we did skip a... Or we did boost a lot, but obviously we don't want to... You guys don't want to see me click the whole game, so... There you go. Hey, it looks good. So you've got the pink area underneath there as well. Look at that. Quite a cool little model of it, actually. It's looking good. There you go. Let's grab her. Grab her. We'll grab a picture of that as well. Oh. Let's wait for those. Uh... There you go. Let's try and get a cool screenshot of the thing. Gold thing as well. Alright. And wait for that to disappear. And there you go. There's a cool picture of it. There you go. Cool. Alright, so that's done. So. Pole tech tree complete. So that's a, quite a nice little campaign. Obviously there's not much there, but. That's cool. That's fun for like a little weekend event because this obviously goes away in three days. So, yeah, that'll be... I won't be able to actually play this again uh, when I film next week. So, yeah, it needs to be done this weekend. So, there it is. Nice. Okay, so if we go back to Beyond, we should see the telescope in the simulation, which is pretty cool. So, back here again. Okay, cool. Might as well check if there's anything to upgrade. Uh, rank... Nothing. Oh my god, that's how expensive everything in this is now. Look, I can't do anything. But I mean, actually, just to recap on this as well. Look, I've done all the achievements. Literally everything here. And we got the James Webb uh, mission as well. But um, yeah, I've done all of the Beyond achievements. We've got all of them up. Planet X, all of that. All done. So that is basically 100% completion right now. And I'll see all these achievements up here. They're all just to do with the, um, the dinosaurs and the main simulation. So... Yeah, I have, I've been doing those in the background, so you guys haven't seen that. But yeah, I have been working on uh, both of these as well, just to get them up. So, just get to get all the completion achievements. But yeah, there we are. Okay, anyways, back to... Um, yeah, the uh, inner solar system we need to be going to here. Okay, so where are we? Whoa, ho, ho, okay. Uh, get the gold thing. Where's James Webb? James Webb? I think I see... Is that it there? I think I see something. Aha! Okay. Oh, they also added city lights to Earth as well. That was an addition that came out in the update, or one of the updates. So they've added city lights now, which is pretty cool. Okay, so where are we? James Webb. Hey, there you go. Hey, what's up? Cool. So joint effort between NASA, ESA, and CSA. The James Webb Telescope is a successor to Hubble with improved photographic and analytic capabilities. It will observe distant phenomena such as formation of new galaxies. And there it is. Nice. So that is sitting, uh, yeah, on the uh, distance of Earth, like the simulation said. It's like a perfect balance between Earth and Sun orbit, so it just sits there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So, James Webb. Sweet. That is really cool, actually. Nice. And yeah, there we are. So that's in the beyond. So we're still, yeah, I'll see. That does it for um, today's video, actually, of uh, the James Webb Telescope expansion. So, um, yeah, that's cool. So, Unfold the Universe, Explore James Webb Telescope. So, that does it for that little uh, campaign. Obviously, quite a little fun little thing. Obviously, there's a lot of reading. So, a nice little bit of history in there as well. So, I hope you guys have all enjoyed um, that as well. And, yeah, it was, that was good fun. But I think, yeah, one more thing actually I need to show you was um, Mars. I unlocked this Terraform Mars skin. It looks quite cool. So, Mars is now terraformed. So, that's pretty cool. 
So that's because I've unlocked Mars in this primary simulation here. So that, that gave me this terraform skin, which looks really cool. So, yeah, we've got a terraform Mars. So, they're pretty cool. It doesn't show up on here, though, but there you go. But they're all level 11 now, so they're crazy, crazy high level. But, um, yeah. So that does it, yeah, for the James Webb Telescope event. So, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more um, as well. And, yeah, let's see if we can go for 40 likes um, for today's video for the James Webb Telescope. And, yeah, guys, um, make sure you guys all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.